Yeah. Damn it, Bobby. We are live. There we go. We got some light on in this mug. Woo! Yes, sir. Come on in. Get around, everybody. Get around. Welcome to the show. It's hot in here to me. Is it hot in here to anybody else? Yeah, it might be. It might be. The APU is running. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, APU is doing its thing back there. Um, let me get all these other phones going. I got uh, I got them on the ones and the twos over here. Let's see here. Who do I want to be on that phone? A speed diabetic trucker on that phone. Hmm. Let's see what we got going over here. We'll see if we get any comments. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. I much appreciate it. We got two people in here now. That's always nice. The more, the merrier. Um, we'll get them. We'll get them in here. I didn't put out much of a notification for this thing. I just kind of was like, hey, we live. We're going to do it, you know. And uh, maybe I shouldn't bring all this online. Hmm. This could hurt. This could hurt my internet. I'm in a very rural area. Oof. Very rural. Let me stop that real quick. I guess there's no reason to have that going. And then maybe I can run this one off of uh, off my phone service. And we'll save all the internet for, for this thing. Yeah, I am using the Nomad on this phone tonight. Nomad's got the best reception. Uh, and the best uh, megabits per second. So we're going to go with that tonight. Uh, let's see. My channel. Bing, bam, boom. I about got where I know how to find this stuff. Let's turn that volume down a little bit. Spinny Wheel Jones over here. I about got where I know how to find this stuff. There we go. Volume sounds good. Um, so, yeah, Mint Mobile has expired. I can't use the Mint Mobile anymore. I'm not going to re-up the Mint Mobile. Uh, when I get back home, I have got my Verizon phone, the Samsung, paid down enough to uh, get me a uh, go to T-Mobile. I'm going to have T-Mobile buy out the Verizon contract, and I'm going to put uh, T-Mobile back on one phone, and then I'll have the Nomad internet back there running off of Verizon. So that'll give me a spectrum, a spectrum. So, um, I never really had a problem. You know, my big thing with T-Mobile was it's really good, but boy, when it ain't, it ain't. But now that I got the Verizon backup on there, I'm not as uh, worried about it, to be honest. Because uh, the, the uh, Nomad runs off of Verizon. Let me like my own video there. If everybody could smash that like button for me, I'd much appreciate it. Uh, might as well hit the like button on this one while I'm here. Like, here we go. Um, uh, uh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Um, but yeah, we're just chilling. I don't know what everybody else is up to. I forgot the title of this show. I was going to put live from Matt. You know, because I know that's probably like a key search term right now. And, uh, <laughs> you know me, I give a damn about being being honest and legitimate. You know what I mean? I'm live from Matt's tonight, everybody. Woo! Are you at Matt's? Because I am. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I don't know. A certain kind of trucker goes to Matt's. Am I right? Am I right? Wants to shake hands with all the good buddies. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm throwing I'm throwing shade like a damn black umbrella tonight. I don't even care about it. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't go to Matt's. I, I uh, you know, um, I see all these channels, you know, they're like, oh, we're from we're live at Matt's. And I'm like, yeah, so is everybody else. So, um, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm out. I'm out here with the damn foreigners hauling freight. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go pick me up some two dollar mile freight tomorrow and drive it right into a blizzard. Yeah, genius. <laughs> I really got life figured out. I got. I got a lot of things going. Let me tell you. We're gonna pick up some freight, and drive it right into the middle of the blizzard. Uh, Minnesota is expecting eleven inches of snow tomorrow. 
So I can't wait for that. Um, I will be taking a load from Illinois, Illinois, uh, to Minnesota. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. Pick it up bright and early. Get on up the road with it, at least until I hit some bad weather. And then I'm going to be like, well, it's going to be late. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going up into the middle of a blizzard. Um, you know, it's a load, of, it's a load of beverage. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to run a load of beverage into a blizzard. It ain't my style. It just ain't for me. Uh, 47 people in the house, nine likes. If you could, you might that like button for me. Uh, YouTube, in all their infinite wisdom, has to move the like button up here. You got to hit those three little dots right there. Bam. And then it comes up down here. Like. There you go. That's also where you get the description of the video. So, uh, let's see what everybody's up to tonight. Thanks for stopping by. It's not going to be a long one and probably not going to be a good one. Yeah, that's what I tell them every time. But, uh, you know, hey, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to be fat, right? P-H-A-T, fat. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I'm off the rails. I'm off the rails. I have done nothing all day but drink coffee and eat beef. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are. Um, I did the carnivore diet today. Uh, I'm going to try to do that one day a week, you know, where I just eat meat one day a week. May, may go to it a little bit more than that, but, um, you know, I see a lot of people having a lot of success uh, with that diet. I love meat. The only problem with it for me is cooking in the truck, you know. Um, so this morning I had four eggs for breakfast. That was good. And then uh, I had two pounds of questionable ground beef <laughs> throughout the day. Um, we'll see how that treats me. But uh, that beef had been in the freezer a little too long, I thought. But uh, whatever. I cooked it anyway. Uh, I thought about PC to the grocery store. But technically, I am under dispatch, and you know I don't want to start a whole PC debate. But technically, I'm under dispatch, and if I would have PC'd to the grocery store, I didn't want to PC back. You know, I was just going to PC to the grocery store, park there tonight, and then get up and leave and get there in the morning. But I said, you know what? I really don't. It's not a grocery store that I really wanted to go to. And uh, second of all, I just didn't want to do nothing today. I just kind of wanted to have a lazy day. Um, uh, so I've, I've said all day. I got unloaded yesterday afternoon. Could not get reloaded. Couldn't find a load for today. Going to get reloaded tomorrow. Whew, that's why I say trucking is a bag. Not enough volume out here for me personally, uh, you know. Um, I like it. I like it when I can get a load on a Saturday and Sunday, especially out of a major metro area. You know what I mean? But just wasn't there. Uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it ain't. Uh, Forty-one people in the house. Nineteen likes. Wow! Thanks everybody. Got an after that like button a little bit. Uh, Says for miles in the house, just chilling in Georgia, doing a thirty-four. I'm going to be about an hour short on a 34-hour reset over here. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Going to be literally going to have to leave out of here in the morning at about 33 hours on a... <laughs> so, I, I wasn't like I was short on hours to begin with, though. Um, I mean, I only, you know, I only been, like, out and back once. And typically, I can do out and back twice on, you know, a 70. Um, you know, because... Typically, uh, I, I just know how to, you know, I can manage the hours. It's math, you know. But uh, having a full day off, you know, right now, uh, let's see, I worked about seven hours yesterday, no hours today. So that's basically as good as a reset to me. Um, Al Dogs in the house. How are you? I'm good. I'm chilling. Jackknife TV is in the house. Oh, man. Scramble screen. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm in a very rural area right now, so, um, 
You know, I was I was showing the good internet before I went live, but typically I've not had good internet here today. Um, the Nomad has been better than the phone, but yeah. Uh, Will Carr, hello Cash. There's a Loki Pam's in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Seen you in a while. Evening Cash. Sterling's in the house. Willie Tricklebutt says hello from Somalia. I'm going to tell you guys right now. I'm going to tell you right damn now. If you're not subscribed to Sterling, you are missing out. That live show last night was some of the best YouTube I've seen in I don't know how long. If you guys haven't seen that, go back, watch Sterling's live show from last night. That was fire. <laughs> I mean, I was rolling. Um, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Jake Knight TV says, you know, and it's funny because it's like I flip through YouTube and I see these people. You know, I seen a girl had a live show today. I've been doing a lot of research. She had a live show and it was literally her taking a nap. It was just a girl in her pajamas laying on a bed. There was 185 people watching that. And I'm like, I mean, I, I, what the F, you know? And then you get somebody doing a good live show, you know, and, and you got you got 25 people watching. I don't know how the algorithm works, but um, catch my live show tonight where I'll be asleep in, in my tight pajama shorts. Come on. <laughs> Uh, Jay Knight says, it's like I'm um, 13 again at midnight trying to watch the Spice Network. <sniffs> Ooh, ah. Ah, there you go. A little bit better. Yeah, I got good burps today. Uh, uh, bunny ears on your internets. I tell you, boys, we're, we're in the sticks right here where I'm at. Um, I was... I'm in a very, very small town. A local grocery store is all they got. Um, the closest Walmart is 19 miles away. So that tells you how rural this is, you know. Um, <laughs> um, Ray Garcia in the house. Uh, hey, what's going on, Cash? Not much. Uh, that thing on Fates Upper Lips in the house is nice stash. Uh, yeah, I need to, I need to get that off of there. I don't like that hairy lip. I don't like hairy lips. Um, the thing, what it was, I got an electric shaver and it's rechargeable and the battery was dead. And I went in and took a shower at Love's last night and the, uh, the, um, the, the power outlet didn't work. It was G, G, C, I, G, F, I, C, whatever it's called. A GFI outlet, and I, I I reset it and everything. The the power just there was no power coming to that outlet, so I literally barely got shaved down here. And then you know I had to get that. I I need to get the old trimmers out tonight. And get that off there. DIYs in the house. Sup? Not much. Sterling will. Uh, all the Instagram camper van girls have Starlink, and Adam Bennett says you should too. Ooh. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I am uh I'm just not a I'm not a believer in the Starlink yet. Um we'll see. We'll see. I'm I'm actually, you know, I question a lot of what that uh, Elon Musk says. He tells you one thing and then he delivers something totally different. So I'm not I'm not very quick to get in business with a guy like that. You know? Um you know, and to me, if you're worth billions of dollars, you're probably taking advantage of people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, all the billionaires I know of, they kind of take advantage of people. Uh, Chuckle with T-Bones in the house. Uh, I don't know about T-Mobile phones, but the T-Mobile home internet thing works great in the truck. Okay. Uh, since for miles says, I have the, uh, I have the T-Mobile home internet at home. So I don't know if I could get two of those, you know. I'd rather just have the T-Mobile phone. Verizon, uh, this Verizon phone, Samsung, pfft, booty. Booty, uh, no thanks. Loose butthole. Um, since for miles says, I ran all night long. Son, who are you, uh, uh, Lionel Richie? Uh, <laughs> uh he ran every night this week. Hats off to you, Reefer Boys. Screw that schedule. My ass is whooped. 
Damn. Um, I keep it mostly daytime, but then I guess I don't now to think about it. I drive at night a lot. Um, last night I slept. I was here. Done. But the night before I got loaded at, um, I got loaded around 4 p.m. And I drove 550 miles after getting loaded. So I I went from 4 to midnight. That's a schedule I typically like. But my thing is parking. You've got to make it to midnight. You know, shutting down at 10 is damn near impossible. But if you can push through till midnight, 1 o'clock, there's some spots open up, you know. Um, people are recapturing hours, um, you know, just that type of thing. You'll see people leaving out. So I ran till right at midnight the night before. And, uh, yeah, I pulled in, got a parking spot like it wasn't nothing. Um, and there was people parked up and down the ramps and everything. So for me, I would really just push through till midnight if I can. <clears throat> And that makes for a rough start the next day. I'm going to be honest. Uh, starting at 10 o'clock in the morning, 1030. Not my favorite. But I like a second shift as long as I can get parking. I would rather start my day, you know, when the sun's up. Um, and, and then shut down like 10 o'clock, midnight, somewhere in there. Uh, but it's funny in trucking, you know, I, I, I worked a 12-hour day the other day. And I thought to myself, I didn't do enough. And then I got to thinking about it. I was like, I've been I've been steady working for 12 hours now. I think that's enough. You know, I <laughs> just like I don't know I don't know any any other person I know, nobody that says, I worked 12 hours today, not sure that was enough. You know? Like nobody I know. Everybody I know, eight hours, nine hours, they're done, you know. Um, but I guess when we've been brainwashed and trucking to not expect overtime, um, DIY Simi is headed home from Matt. Damn it, boy. Shy hooks in the house. What up? Sterling wheel live from the floor mats. That's what I was going to do. Um, I was going to say live from mats and then I was going to grab the mat back there. I got a real fancy foam mat back there. I would pick up the mat down here, but um that's where my shoes sit so i try not to touch this mat with my hand because of what goes on at truck stops um <laughs> uh jake knife uh, i can second that trucking with t-bone t-mobile home internet okay uh diy semi says hashtag damn it i let me buy uh trucking with t-bone apparently so i met diy shimmy Fate Trucking's in the house with a boom. Boom, it's Fate Trucking. What's up, Fate Trucking? Since for miles says, I hate that my name is Matt. Makes me think all these bastards are at my house. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. Crust is in the house. Uh, shout out to my boy, Huge Ass. Oh, 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 son, got me. Got me. Ah. Sterling Will says, make America trucking stupendous. Stupendous. Uh, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Um, you know, I, I really got to figure out how to get my videos in different languages. You know what I mean? Because I feel like, I mean, I'm just going out of limb here. I feel like trucking is like... People who speak English are the, the minority of trucking now. I mean, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was at the Aldi the other day making a delivery, and the guy's in there, and the lady goes, uh, will you be paying your lumper fee with a check or with a card? And he proceeded to go, what? <laughs> I was like, she's speaking pretty good English there, buddy. And then he pulled up on his phone. A picture of the rate con and showed her a picture of the rate con. Yeah. And it was at this point I pushed him out of the way and handed her my paperwork and said, I'll be paying with a check. Let me know. Because uh, I wanted to go back to sleep at like two in the morning. You know, I'm not going to stand there while he learns English. You know, no offense, but I'm trying to go to sleep. And then the guy, they give you a key fob to get in the building. And the guy in front of me 
literally had the key fob around his neck and he was pushing the the pad where you're supposed to scan the key fob. And I go, I go, maybe he's just sleepy. You know, maybe he's just sleepy. But come to find out, he didn't understand what she told him about the key fob because he, he don't know English either. No, he didn't. Um, so, yeah, apparently I'm going to have to learn to do this. Uh, let me let me see if I can find a different language here. Um, um, bum, 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 bum. All right. Okay. Um, where's it at? So apparently I will now be broadcasting in multiple languages. Así que aparentemente ahora estaré transmitiendo en varios idiomas. Not bad, right? So yeah, from now on, I'm just going to say, screw doing the show in English. It's probably holding me back. Así que sí, de ahora en adelante, solo diré que al diablo con hacer el programa en inglés. Probablemente me esté frenando. Would you like to pay your lumper with a check or a card? ¿Le gustaría pagar su lumper con cheque o tarjeta? <laughs> I like this. I'm going to work with this a little more. Okay. Yeah, I got to turn the volume down. Uh, I need a third. I'm going to need the third phone to operate the Spanish translation. Damn it. This is going to get complicated. This might be more than I can handle. Uh, <laughs> come on now. Come on now. We're getting it rolling now. Uh, let's see where we at. Hunter P. Brown's in the house. Greetings. You're doing great. Thanks, uh, Hunter P. Brown. Hunter P. Brown's got a channel. If you guys don't know, he's got a gaming channel. Go watch him. Go watch him. Just saying. Jay Nathan, he said, I'm stuck at a Walmart DC in Youngstown, New York. The schedule is all screwed up because of the weather. Been here since 4.45. It's now 9. Was able to get back into a door about 20 minutes ago. Okay, good luck out there. Uh, I've been down south, man. I ain't even know we having weather up there. You know what I mean? I got a, I got a talk. Uh, I was talking to the house today. And uh, they were like, yeah, we're, we're talking about going sledding. And I was like, what in the hell are you talking about? Apparently, there's a big snowstorm moving through. So, I'm like, hell, I didn't know nothing about none of this. Uh, yeah, apparently, New York got it pretty good. Uh, of course, I don't live in New York. I'm talking about the upcoming snowstorm uh, going to hit Minnesota tomorrow. So, if you don't know, now you know. Um, let me see here. Where the hell is my... Where in the hell is my weather? Weather map. Weather map. Yeah, boys. Woo! Doggy, look at that mess coming at you. Coming at you. Let me switch this to Minneapolis. You Minneapolis. Well, damn it, big dog. Let me tell you a little story about it. Um, There you go. Can you see that, everybody? It's probably too bright, isn't it? You got to turn that brightness down near all the way down or it won't pick it up. Yeah, there you go. Uh, gay, Minneapolis, Minnesota, all that. Finna get it. Finna get it real good. You know, real good. Um, let's see here. Severe weather, winter storm in effect. This is for Price County, Wisconsin, I hit here. Uh, issued by the National Weather Service of Duluth, Minnesota. Winter storm warning remains in effect from 10 a.m. Sunday morning till 1 p.m. Monday. What you can expect? Heavy mixed precipitation. Total snow accumulations of 10 to 13 inches and ice accumulations of a light glaze. So basically, you're going to get a donut with some glaze on it. I mean, I, um, yeah, so uh, let's see. Let's see what uh, 
By the way, I'm using uh, Weather Underground here. Is the uh, hey, you can't do nothing about that. That's a too bright. Uh, I'm using Weather Underground here. It is the best, in my opinion. In my opinion, or as they say in Minnesota, my opinion. My o opinion. Tell me about your o opinion. It's like it's two different words up there. It's o opinion. Uh, anyway. Uh, let's talk about Hennepin, Hennepin County, which is Minneapolis, uh, issued today by the Minneapolis National Weather Service. Winter storm warning remains in effect 10 a.m. Sunday until 10 a.m. Monday. So there you go. Excuse me. 10 a.m. Sunday, 4 a.m. Monday. Okay. Uh, what to expect? Heavy snow expected. Total accumulations of five to eight inches. Again, what you done? But um, now they've already lowered that because yesterday they were saying 8 to 11 inches. And I was like, that's a lot to handle. But then today they're like 5 to 8 inches. That's, that's more moderate, right? Uh, that's like average to slightly above average snowfalls. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there you go. Impact travel could be very difficult. High snowfall rates and patchy blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Oh, no, I hate that because I'm going to go through Iowa. Oh, you know that blowing snow in Iowa. Oh, if anybody gets a good bead, gets, gets blown, it's Iowa. 69 in the house, 26 likes. Hit that like button for me if you like the weather reports. Um, I can do them for any area. Any area. Let me see here. I've lost my place again. Got to find it here. Um, bah, 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 bah. Tyler's in the house. Damn. Two shitty states that shook. Yeah, for sure. Uh, six simpers in the house. What up, bro? Barbara's in the house. Damn, I wonder where that went. Uh, nice. <laughs> Sterling Wheel says, uh, the like button is touched by God. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, hit hit it and quit it. Talking about the like button. I agree. I agree. The animal channel member in the house says, good evening in Maryland. Headed to Illinois. Illinois. I hope you're getting big money on that. Uh, Tyler says, I tell them I give them two inches at 200 miles per hour, which equals out. To be 30 seconds of raw power. Okay. <laughs> Nobody doubts you. I'm not doubting you. Uh, now it's time for the storytelling portion of the show. I once tore my foreskin in half. Now I got two two skins. And I thank you. <laughs> oh, wait, Sterling Will says, off the rails like when I go live. Yeah, I, I can't stay on the rails. I put down rails and then I... You know, I'm like a damn, I'm like a damn Norfolk Southern train. Come on with a BNS, a B, BNSF uh, on the back. You know what I mean? We can't, we can't keep it on the rails. Um, the gas pastor. Yes. Thank you. I like that. Uh, six Semper. Uh, this truck of life's in the house. I cook in these Walmart trucks. Ground beef stinks a new Cascadia up pretty quick. Yeah. Um. I cooked all that ground beef today. I did have the windows down. I like to buy the frozen patties just for convenience sake. It's it's cleaner. It's quicker. I buy the one, th one third pound patties, and then I put three of them in there at a time. Bob's your uncle, as they say. Um, I mean, genealogy, you know, family tree. I just know Bob's your uncle. Um Mercy Mobile Main is nine men, one eighty-seven auto car, no CDLs. He's talking about uh, the state of trucking right now. One grow lamp, no papers, hammered down, slider seat hot. Oh wait, one through the floorboard, come on, damn it, boy. I'm pretty sure I seen a, a driver. Uh, he drives for Variant. You know they get respect. I'm pretty sure I, sm I saw him smoking uh, uh, a little something earlier. Smelt like it. I got a little downwind of it, and I was like, whoa, that burnt my eyes a little bit. I don't think that's a black and mild. Uh, it might have started his life as a black and mild, but I don't think it ended its life as a black and mild. It sounded more like black and loud. I got my 
Uh, welcome back. It's in the house. Um, mechanic J, maybe? Uh, Swill says I can make a million dollars if I lease purchase with them. That's a fact. That's a fact. You can make a million dollars if you lease on to Swift and stay there for 87 years <laughs> with compounding interest. Um, let's see. George Wilson's in the house. Hello, Cash is King. Hope all is well in your world. It's okay. Sitting around. Not a big fan of sitting all day, but, uh, you know, you get unloaded on a Friday afternoon. Uh, and, you know, can't really get reloaded on a Friday afternoon in my world, apparently. Um, there's just nothing there. And there's just no freight, man. The, the economy is just poo-poo. And, I mean, it's a story as old as time, you know. People people who, uh, you know, uh, you know, come from a country that maybe does not have the best economic opportunities like to come here and become truck drivers. And then guys like me go, take the curbs, you know. Um, Sterling says, why does everyone wake up and ask if you need help at the Home Depot after you fart? Ah, uh, yeah, it never fails. I, I had some flu farts at the Walgreens a couple months ago. And I said, hey, let me ease over here. <laughs> I was shopping for some cough drops. And I said, let me ease over here where ain't nobody going to be on this aisle. You know, I went to the grocery aisle in Walgreens. You know, who pays $9 for a can of soup? Nobody. So I said, let me ease over here. I'll, I'll crop dust this aisle. And I swear to God, I crop dusted that aisle. And then one of the prettiest women I've ever seen in my life walked down that aisle. Right as I was walking out of it. She knew it was me. And I was just like, eh, never had a chance anyway. <laughs> Never had a chance anyway. So uh just being realistic, you know. Uh Dan says, Hello from the Motown. What up, Motown, Dan? Six Ember says, it works like magic, Sterling. Yeah, Sterling's for sure. Uh now uh, Sterling, they think you are shoplifting fertilizer in your shorts. Damn it by. Uh yeah, come on with it. Says crop dusting. What up? Come on with it. We ain't seen you around in a while. Thanks, everybody, for gathering around. We're going to do a little bit of a live here. I'm not going to go too late because um, I need to get into bed. I got to get up early. I've uh, been trying to get, you know, seven hours of sleep in, which takes me about eight hours to get seven hours of sleep. So um, we'll probably probably wrap this one up here in a minute. But, uh, you know, I just wanted to check in with everybody. 810 Batman's in the house. Come on with us. I need a couple of acres fertilized. How much you charging? Damn it, boy. Uh, ride till death's in the house. Welcome to Love's. <laughs> I like that. Uh, uh, Bex D says, Cash is chumming up Mountain Dew and caffeine pills. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, coffee today. Oh, that's way cold. That's that's not worth drinking anymore. Pour that out and get some fresh. Oh, that was the bottom of the barrel. Cold bottom of the barrel. G C G G C F I or or G F C I. Ooh, there we got a debate. Uh, come on, wait. It says DIY was sitting on a mattress at Matt's. Oh, he has been found out. Damn it, boy. Damn it. Um, Tyler says. GFCI, my bad. Okay, we, we forgive you. Taylor's in the house. What up, Taylor? Craig McKinley says, I got Xfinity. It's good, okay? Uh, I drove 690 miles last night. Damn it, boy. Damn it, boy. That's too much for me. I'm not a fan of those nights. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of that. Uh, 68 in the house. Everybody smash that like button for me. If you don't mind, I bet you appreciate it. Uh, when you say you got Xfinity, you mean a uh, Xfinity cell phone? Uh, what does that run off of? Um, welcome back. Says Google is always your best friend. You can always find a Lowe's or a business in an industrial park, even if you are not delivering there. Yeah, buddy. Uh, welcome back. Says uh, they don't, you are not picking up delivery there. Uh, I did it all the time when I was on the road. Okay. Um, 
says for miles says every night my start time was midnight till 10 a.m that's a good schedule i like that that's actually that's kind of reversed my schedule i'm definitely not down with that schedule i like uh starting at I like starting at like uh, 9 to 10 a.m. and then finishing up my day 9 to 10, you know. Uh, checking in from Georgia. What up? Six Embers says, my old ass aims for eight-hour shifts. They can shove things in your butt if you're sitting on them. Ah, they can't shove things in your butt if you're sitting on it. Huh. Okay. Uh, John says, hey, it's one hour and a half. And a half and 10 hours. Uh, you're 12 hours a year away. And you can't your second wind end take three hours to fall asleep. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, trying to use my microphone. I did the type. It sucks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I talk to text is getting worse, not better. Uh, 69 in the house. Come on with it. Marty St. Morris's pain with a check and drop them pennies. Mm. Unduplicatable. It's insane that he was ever hired. Mm. True that. Robert says, yeah, I was behind one last year and he spoke a whole paragraph into Google Translate and gave the phone to the lady. All I wanted to do was get my paperwork and get the heck out of there. I'm not playing. I didn't have time to sit there and wait for that guy. I just kind of went around him and was like, here's my paperwork. My phone number's written on top of the paperwork, and I'm going to pay with a check. Shoot me the text, and I'm going to bed. And she just was like, okay, bye. Because <laughs> there was like eight people in line while these guys trying to learn English, you know. Um, yeah, I was, at, uh, I was at a Costco distribution center a few, about a year ago probably, and there was a guy there, and he pulls up to the gate, and he don't know no English. So they're like, okay, you need to pull over there and come back up because you're holding up the line. And he got back over there, and, you know, he had to do the whole Google Translate thing, and it wasn't working right. And whew, It was a mess. It was a mess. Um, PC says, I'm learning to speak Espanol. There you go. Um, you can learn it here. Hell, I'll try. I'll try. Um Let's see here. What what I got for Google Translate? Uh, bam. Let's see here. Oh, my God. They're going to make me delete all that. Come on. Okay. Now I got to pause this, turn the volume up. Eso es lo que ella dijo. Eso es lo que ella dijo. Anybody? Anybody know what that? Eso es lo que ella dijo. Eso es lo que ella dijo. We'll see if anybody can get that one. All right, till this in the house. All right, I gotta find my place again. Jeezy Louisy. Um, wow, I'm way behind. Way behind. Uh, Frankie says hello from Greece. Wow, Athens, Greece. Nice. Nice. Um, I had a I had a small I had a small affair. Uh, not an affair. I had a small fling with a with a uh, person from Greece one time. Um, it was it was uh, it was memorable. Memorable. <laughs> that was twenty years ago, and I still remember it. Um, very lovely lady. Very lovely. Uh, J D Jeff says, "Got to learn to wash your feet." When the toothbrush and shaving the sink before you speak certain languages, ain't that the damn truth? Um, yeah, um, I'm gonna get me one of those uh files that files the dead skin off my foot, and I'm just gonna go up and like I'm gonna I'm gonna sit in the subway and do that. The subway restaurant. <laughs> Welcome back. Need to have the live feed in Russian because you are close to them, uh, and they are Russian women are beautiful. I agree to that. I agree to that uh, 100%. 100%. Um, come on with us. Hit that like button. I get that. That's very true. Uh, Humberto's in the house. Hello. 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 Humberto says, was the storm here in Montreal, Canada? And it is very cold. Negative 20. What? Negative 20. I got to check the weather. 
Um, I bought this fuel. I bought my fuel in. Uh, I bought my fuel in Illinois. So I might need to treat that. Eesh. Uh, Shannon Thomas Trick says, good evening, final night at Matt's. I'm tired and fat and ready to go back to work. Damn it. Killian's truckin's in the house. Just got off the, gr just got the grill lit, he says. Um, I called you a couple times this weekend, Killian's, I, I, or a couple times this week. I, did you get a new number? I think Killian's changed his number on me. He didn't tell me. Uh, he says, the burgers shortly. Hope all is well. Damn it, boy. Humberto. Uh, welcome again. Yeah, thank you. Griff's in the house. What up, Griff? Uh, ice to the house. That's me. It's it's definitely you. Sterling says, uh, the like button is required touching. Yes. Yes. Uh, you cannot be, you cannot be a true fan unless you've touched it. The like button, that is. Wilburner's in the house. What up, Cash? Not much. I'm chilling. Just a chilling. Um, Lloyd's in the house says, what's the square footage of your house, my dude? Um, this one, the one I'm in? Uh, let's see. I'm going to say six feet by nine feet on this one. Uh, John's in the house. J.D. Jeff made it in. Uh, I, I, uh, I, uh, I'm sorry. Horrible with names. Uh, the... Nevaya McBride's in the house. Dog, what up? Um, Jerome Jones made it in. Thanks for coming in, Jerome Jones. I'm in now. You can start all over. Oh, we almost at the end. We're closer to the end than we are at the beginning right now. I'm kind of getting hot in here. Might have to do a Mr. Rogers and take my hoodie off. Whew. It's a little hot in here. Um, even though it's cold outside, man, this truck is just holds the heat. Yeah, it's 45 degrees out, so. Uh, why I'm cold, I don't even know. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. Yeah, let the air in. Look, little cold air. Uh, Mr. Zed's in the house. Where's the gameplay, baby? Uh, no gameplay here. Sorry. Um, Ryan says, I like to put frozen patties on my balls. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Um, why not, you know? Uh, does that make them Krabby Patties? Egg him out! Uh, Ambassador says, I did 11 years OTR, 5 years OTR, and ship X 3 years, and then went with GP and a few local companies. I'm broke. Can't buy nothing. Damn it. Damn it. Uh, Paul says, Black Lives MAGA. Okay, I agree. Um, do you date men with no teeth? Oh, well, it's not really a matter of teeth. I just I just don't date men. Uh, Mild Bill Anderson's in the house. Holy moly, how are you feeling, Cash? I'm okay. I'm okay. I did carnivore today. I only ate meat today. Uh, and I feel okay. I feel okay. I don't think one day is enough to really notice anything. But uh, I don't know if I'll do it again tomorrow. It'll just depend on how I feel. Uh, it will also depend if I can get to a grocery store. Because uh, I really don't have a lot of meat in the truck right now. But I thought, hey, you know, one day a week. We'll start with one day a week. Uh, Vegas in the house. Do you love Jesus? Uh, sure. Sure. Uh, let's see. Matthew's in the house. What up, Cash? Not much. Ambassador says making nine seventy to fourteen hundred after taxes weekly sucks. Yeah, I mean there could be worse. I mean, you know, um, always strive for better, but always acknowledge, you know, you could be doing worse. Um, you just never know, you know. There's there's people that's got it worse. Matthew says, um, get that 07 Columbia this week. What you think? Um, I like 07 Columbia's. It just depends on what you got there, you know. Uh, we talking 5 million miles. We talking, uh, we talking rat's nest wiring, you know what I mean? Now, if we're talking, you know, well taken care of, you know, uh, rebuilt trucks, then hey, you know, I don't see nothing wrong with a 07 Columbia. Um, hello, King, says Salia. I think I said it, Sal Salia. 
Horrible with names. Sorry, folks. Barely literate. That's why I'm a truck driver. Because um, <laughs> there's a test you got to take. And if you know too much English, you can't be a truck driver. Um, Ambassador says, I want to make three to 7000 a week. Damn it, boy. He wants to. He wants to net after taxes, three to seven thousand a week. Uh, if you're going to do that in trucking, you're probably going to need to own more than one truck. I'm just going to say you're going you're going to need multiple trucks. I think um, raising house, you probably shit your pants too. Oh man, I hope not. My bill says it always happens that way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Greg says finally catching a live show. Hope you're having a good night. Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, it's a little hot in here right now, and I'm getting a little hot and bothered, you know what I mean? Um, Mild Bill says, plenty of time to sleep after death. That's what they say. Um, Dice Cook 2 says, emo, 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 emo. <laughs> He's killing it, dog. Shit. Um, Y'all can let that go. Y'all don't have to block people in here. Um if I if you've got a wrench in here, it's just because you can post your link. Um, you don't have to take down comments. Um, yeah, Le leave all the comments up if you would. I appreciate it. Mile Bill busted. Ambassador says did eleven years OTR, no accidents, two speeding tickets. Walmart won't hire me. Yeah, Walmart's picky, man. Um, accidents, speeding tickets, they are very very picky. You got to have a clean clean two and a half three years for walmart to take it uh they pay good though uh vj from new jersey says do you think it's true why black people don't hunt ghost hmm, i don't know that one honestly i don't remember that one um matthew says f walmart okay um i shop there occasionally my i get my pants at walmart i buy my pants at walmart Anybody? Anybody Kmart jokes? Rain Man? Anybody? Nicholas says, today's subject, slavery. Uh, trucking's starting to feel that way. I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I think if you're starting out in trucking right now, um, you know, running running to buy a truck I don't think is the right move right now. Uh, I, think you, I think you make some company money right now. Enjoy those benefits. Because uh, it's, getting, it's getting very tough, you know, like um, if it were me and I, I would be looking at a private fleet right now, if I was looking, I would want to get out of this market and get, get more, uh, insulated. Now the economy is crap. So you got to worry about that, but yeah, um, for sure. Um, uh, CTRL says, can you wish my friend Agor a happy birthday? Yeah, sure. Happy birthday, Agor. I don't know you personally, but, uh, Hey, if a guy I never heard of CTR or C CTRL vouches for you, hell, I'll vouch for you. Uh, Undubitable says uh, midnight to 10 a.m. Dang, my midnight to arrive at 7 a.m. Work until 2 p.m. Home by 7 p.m. In bed by 9 p.m. Whoo, damn, that's a day, man. That's like a that's like a 21 hour day. <laughs> that's a day. Um, let's see. Peace, Brodus. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. All the new people. Be sure to smash the like button for me if you could. Uh, we're talking trucking and trucking uh, accessories. Uh, Barbara says, that's what she said, right? Uh, well, that's what's on your Google Translate. Yes. Yes. The Google Translate was saying, that's what she said. Uh, oh, sorry. I kicked in all these phones because I said that G word. Um, yes, you're correct. You're correct. Roll me one in the house. What up? Russell Freight Services made it in. Oh, man, the gang is here. The gang is here. The Blinder, is, is this a movie? Uh, yes, it is a movie. I'm playing the part of Brad Pitt. Uh, Big Smokes is American Trucks or Euro. I've never driven a Euro truck, so I don't know. Um, you know. American trucks are kind of meh. They're kind of utilitarian. So, uh, you know, that that's where I'm at with it. Uh, what state are you from? I grew up in Tennessee. Tennessee? Uh, and then spent some time in California. 
and currently reside in Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, Sis Morales says, uh, if it makes you feel better, there's 243 people watching a girl in the Philippines cut a coconut. Well, see, funny thing is, you don't realize it. I'm watching that on this phone while I'm talking to y'all. Hey, Gamo. She's killing it right now. I love this girl. Coconut Willie. <laughs> Coconut Jane or whatever her name is. I don't know. Um, let's see. So, here's, here's a random scroll, okay? Uh, let's cut this down so we can see it. Oh, hang on. Here's a random scroll. Okay. Let's see what we get. Random scroll. That's what we get. How many people's watching that? 146 people's watching that. Um, um, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. Um, but yeah, there's 146 people watching this. So I'm just going to watch. Y'all can watch this and maybe my views will go up. Um, I mean, look at the chat on that thing. Holy crap. What's this world coming to, right? Um, shout out to that person. Shout out to that person. Uh, let's see here. Let me get back on my game here. Got to turn the brightness up again. Um, big smokes. Yeah. Uh, hello, random streamer dude. Yeah, thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Big Smokes, Volvo, Packard, and now Detroit engines are European design. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, my uh, my Peterbilt is Packard, so all about that European design. Um, Lewis says, if my boy don't truck, he out on the street. Damn it. Um, you're saying it correct. Okay. Mia says, I just wanted to remind you that Jesus loves you. God made you in his image. I don't know. Does God have a jawline like this? <laughs> with, a, with a dominant chin. <laughs> uh, remember to pray and connect with God. Have a great day. Thank you for that message, Mia. I appreciate it. Um, Lewis says, my boy, uh, he got homeless. Get out. Boom. Woo, damn it. Get out of here with your weird Christian preachings, Jesus Christ. Ah, you can say things if you want to. Uh, Mia says, I will never stop spreading the word of God. There you go. Also, just wanted to take this moment and thank you so much for your videos. They helped me a lot so far. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. And thanks for the feedback. That always makes me feel good knowing I'm helping people. Lewis says, uh, my boy don't own slaves on the ranch. He owns the Streets homeless. Oh, now we're getting into it. Yeah, well, I says I smacked the like button. It was on Lolly Sanders' forehead. Oh my God, I've never heard of Lolly Sanders. Who is that? Uh, Mia, Jesus died for your sins. Grill says hello, DIY. Hey, DIY. Um, how the f do you get rid of this lame ass? E restrictions. Oh, I don't know. Is there restrictions? Charles Smith is in the house. I feel like a black man living in a white man's body. Uh, how can I find peace? Uh, just pretend you're a black man. I mean, I, I don't know. Um, uh, Jesus was some stoner Middle Eastern dude. He didn't die for no. Oh, oh. Um, Tyke Trigger says, me, I love Jesus, but there's a time and a place. Oof, got him. Um, Myth Leather Company's in the house. What up, bro? Damn it, bye. Good to see you in here. Good to see you. Uh, Jelly Cupid's in the house. There we go. Um, let's see. Hello, first time watching from Wales, UK. Fellow trucker. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. Um, Let's see. Don't turn away from Gid. Okay. I won't. Uh, Shugle? Shugle, anybody? JNR? Are we talking JNR? Um, I like to call them the Great Shugly Moogly when I see them going down the road. I'm like, oh, look, it's the Great Shugly Moogly. 
uh, I don't know. I got a lot of time on my hands, you know, sitting here in this truck. I think of a lot of things. Uh, Mercy Mobile Maintenance, all these tall trolls mean the prime drivers are parked. Damn it, boy. Uh, time to get the widge out, Cash. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah, most YouTube streams are like that. Yeah. Um, I don't mind it. You know, crazy people are crazy people. They're still, you know, they're still people. That's what you got to figure out. They're still people. So, no matter where people are, what people do or say, they're still people. Um, let's see. Maybe if you put some car ears, you'll get more views. Okay. It's not a bad idea. I thought if I had Beats headphones, it might do better. You know? I'm just saying. Uh, oh, some cat ears. Okay. Now that makes sense. Um, honesty, honest, honesty, McFarland's in the house. Thank you for coming in. Eric's in the house. Allison, hi. Can you say my name? It's Allison. Allison. Yeah, I can say that. Uh, is it bubblegum pink or roast beef brown? Damn it. Uh, funny thing is, I don't chew pink bubblegum. So. Um, let's see. What do you look for in a man? Says gloom. What do I look for in a man? Hell, I don't know. Hell, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I got to go back and watch this other show now. Hell, hell, I'm my show. This is better than my show. Hell, I'm just going to watch 149 people in their show. I better hit that like button too. 210 likes on their show. Hmm, where am I at? Thanks, everybody. Uh, Sterling for 420 says, name a Kanye song for an edit. Ooh, I like that piano song where it goes, ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm talking about? There's a Kanye song and it's like, in the beginning, it's just, uh, it's just like a, a one, a one note piano. It's just like, bing, bing, bing. And then he starts rapping over that, you know. I like that song. That's what I would go for. Um, let's see. Swill stands for sure wish I finished training. Woo! Damn it, boy. Damn it, boy. Um, let's see. Sterling, thank you for the 420. I appreciate it. I much appreciate that. We'll give that a like. Um Ah, damn it. I can't add that up there. No way. Uh, Cole says, I usually look for some spare organs to sell on the black market in a man. Damn it, boy. Damn it, boy. Since for miles says, am I a jerk for enjoying these ego failure channels? Uh, they just keep signing up, despise all the videos showing the scams. I got uh, I got something from somebody from Ego. Let me uh, let me go look at that real quick. Since for Miles says I like his Paris song. Okay, Paris song. Um, bu -bu 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 comments. Um, let's see where was this guy at? Where is this guy? At? Okay, there he is. So I got this. I got this from a guy. Let me read this to you. He's talking about going to Super Ego. He says. I figured, hell, I'd give them a try. Worked there a month. Grossed $6,400. My take-home pay was $770. Grossed $6,400. Took home $770. How is that even possible? <laughs> you know, uh, They charged $2,500 for the tag. Out the first week, twenty five hundred dollars for the tag, two hundred a week for e logs, two hundred and fifty for IFTA. Uh, when I got the truck, it didn't have a tape on the mud flaps, and the company charged me six hundred dollars. Uh, the driver has to pay for inspections on the trailer and tires, even though it was I was just renting it. Uh, they are nothing but a scam. Um, when then, and then when he quit, they they did not give him his last check. So yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, if you're, I did look up the Super Ego um, 
a class action lawsuit. Nothing has changed on that. They are still in the process of collecting people that want to sign up for the class action lawsuit. So nothing has really happened in court. So uh, just know. Just know. If you want to get on that, uh, you can. Uh, ooh, let's see here. Uh, Undo Little says, you mean the piano song, as in the oh no, oh no, oh no, uh, remixes that everyone and their mama uses? Hmm. Possibly. See, I don't listen. Like, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't listen to a lot of, like, remixed music. Um, you know, um, you know, just not my, I don't know. I, I guess I just don't get into that. It's not my, it's not the genre I find myself listening to, but, uh, it, it could be, I, I don't know if everybody, I don't know. That sounds right. Oh no. Oh yeah. That sounds right. Um, Sterling Wheel says, Swill stands for, so will insurance fix that. That's a new one. I ain't never heard that one. Um, I am Atomic Zombies in the house. Wait till I get my money right. Yeah, I like that song too. I like that one too. Uh, it starts with a single high-pitched note. Just ding, 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 ding. Then does a slightly lower-pitched ding. Yes, yes. I like that Kanye song. Um, what's your Starbucks order? I have, uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I have never ordered anything from Starbucks. That was for me. Now, there there was a time when we lived across the road from Starbucks, and I would order Starbucks for the kids, uh, the the baby mama and the kids, and have it brought over. Uh, you know, have uh, have Uber or somebody pick it up and bring it over to the apartment when it was really cold. You know, so they ain't got to get out. You know what I mean? To take care of my babies. My babies don't get out in the cold. I don't allow it. Um, it's like it's like they went and did all their shopping today. I told them, you're not going to be out on Sunday, and you're not going to be out on Monday. It's going to be snowing. You're going to be in the house. Go buy, go buy whatever you need, but stay in the damn house Sunday. Um, you know, I mean, there's no reason to be out in it when it comes bad weather like that. But uh, I've never ordered Starbucks. I used to get the kids those pink drinks, and... Uh, you know, the baby mama used to drink, uh, you know, some iced caramel grande mocha uh, latte, uh, soy milk, uh, almond milk. Uh, so I don't know. It's like, a, it's like $9. I'm like, I'm like, I get, I get free refills at most truck stops. So, um, you know, I have a, uh, I have a coffee maker in the truck. And I use, uh, I use like, uh, the donut shop coffee. <clears throat> no artificial flavors in that for me. I like just coffee. <clears throat> um, so on and so forth. That's correct. Tyke Trigger says, uh, what I look for in a man, someone who can last three minutes in a boxing match and shift an 18 speed, then maybe I'll be your friend. There you go. Cents per mile for a month, damn it. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, I'd have probably left after that first $770 check. I'd have been like, hold up. I got less. You're talking about, let me do the math on that real quick. So $770 divided by $6,400. That's 12%. They're doing an 88-12 split, but it's the wrong way. <laughs> I don't <laughs> oh man damn it boy got it the wrong way um let's see skinny peters jr's in the house fate called jake from state farm yet <laughs> i don't know what old fate's up to boy i hated to hear that the other day though i did have to call him and when he answered the phone i went blah, 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 blah. he was like what who is this i was like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Oh, right after the guy got hit. I'm I'm kind of an asshole. Yeah. Kind of an ass. <laughs> um, Liverpool fans in the house. Uh, JG says, what's your favorite snack to enjoy behind the wheel? Um, I like these. I like, 
hot and spicy chicharrones, baby. I've been eating on those some. Uh, uh, mozzarella cheese sticks. I like a mozzarella cheese stick going down the road. Um, and apples. Usually if I'm feeling like I need some pick-me-up, uh, I keep apples up here. Usually one or two. I don't think I have any up here today because I wasn't driving, but I keep apples in the back. Usually every morning I'll throw one or two apples up there for uh, whatever. Uh, Skinny Peters Jr. working for free at Ego. Sounds like it. Uh, Allison says, can you shout me out? I thought I already did that. Uh, but yeah, I'd do it again. I'd do it again. Shout out to Allison. Um, let's see. Nicholas says, yo, real talk. I just pooped my pants when I tried to fart. Well, uh, welcome to the club, buddy. Um, <laughs> gotta, I can't say congratulations, but uh, whatever. Uh, and you guys don't have to block comments. Just leave the comments up there if you would. If you're a moderator, I'd appreciate it. Allison says, please, I done did it, Allison. Say my name, say my name. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Allison, shout me out. Wherever you're at right now, just, just go outside and just go, cash. <laughs> Since from Allison, every new channel I see talking so good about that company can't look away. It's like rig hung up on train tracks. You know it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Um, Killian sent me a damn clip of an Ego driver, I don't know, about a year ago, and that was some of the funniest things I ever This old boy was talking about he had paid off seven trucks, and I mean, hell, he looked like he just fell off a horse. His, whole, his clothes had holes in them. He was dirty as hell, had about three teeth in his head. And I was like, yeah, boy, yeah, boy, get that log book reset, cab on. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Bri's in the house. Bree, maybe Bree. I'm horrible with names. Disclaimer. Uh, this stream is good, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Allison's in the house. What up, Allison? Shout out to Allison. Um, Maria. Yuka. Okay. Um, Noah's in the house. Uh, Noah, Noah Bal, Balti, Baltis. Shout out for a sub. Woo! Mmm! I like a... What kind of sandwich do I want? Can I get an Italian sub? Hey, you know, a little, little salt and pepper, uh, uh, provolone cheese, please. <laughs> Hold the mayo mustard for me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. 126 people. He's fading. She's fading. Maybe I shouldn't say pronouns. They fading. They fading. No hate, 122 in the house. They're still dominating as far as I'm concerned. Uh, 57 in the house here. I'm out of here, everybody. I much appreciate you guys. Um, you know, have a great day. What is tonight? It's tonight, Saturday. Go out and have some fun. And uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Probably do this again tomorrow. I don't know. I, got, I recorded two videos, a weekly recap and a trucker news. So those will be out soon, and uh, have a great day out there, everybody. God bless.